Well, oh wait, okay, here's Noel. Here it's. Hi, Noel. I'm putting you, we're in the studio today, okay? Because I had to sub a class. Sorry, Chris. Do you want to stay? Do not feel like you have to. Do you want to? Okay. 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 You're like, I'm already paid. Hi, friends. Hello. Hi, Katie. I'm coming at you from Mosaic Yoga today. Um, the noon teacher needed a lot, like, need, she was desperate for a sub. So I was like, well, I'll just sub for you. And then I'll put it on Zoom, too, for my peeps. Um, <laughs> Love it. So you're with me and Chris today. There's only one student. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, should I just leave? I'm like, well, I'm doing the class either way. So you do whatever. Don't so leave. Me and Chris, me and Chris are going to do this. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna put you next to Chris so you'll have a little friend. Okay. Put you like that. Maybe. Is that's gonna work, you guys? Hang on. Hang on. This is hard. Technology, you know? I think it's supposed to work like that. Sorry, one second. Is it gonna work that way? Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just trying some things with this tripod here. How about is this view? I know you're far, but I'll have a mic. So how is this view? Is that okay? You're far, huh? Maybe. Chris, will you be annoyed if this is the general background? Okay, now I'm putting in my mic. I'm going to come that closer. Sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and it's chakra focus today. So I thought let's do solar plexus chakra. All right. Oh, the cord's just in the way. Okay. <laughs> you stop laughing at me. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah. I, yes. Yeah. There's little things in the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, now I can't hear you because I have the mic in. So if you have anything to tell me like that's important, put it in the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm hoping everything's good. I'm not muted. You guys are muted. Okay. Thumbs up from Noelle. Okay. Just want to get this thing out of the way. Stupid court. All right. I think it's good. Thanks for your patience, Chris. I'm going to scoot closer. And then we'll get this party started. Right. All right. So let's actually start lying down. So go ahead and just lie down on your back. And if you want to, you can take a moment to just kind of move around. So maybe you want to take a big full body stretch. Maybe you want to hug your knees in, anything that feels good. And then eventually come to constructive rest pose. So feet on the ground with knees back. And then feet nice and wide, wider than your hips. Let your knees either fall in towards each other or they can stay facing up, but you want it to feel like if your knees were to go one way or the other, they would just default in. And then bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes, or if you'd rather, you can just soften and lower your gaze. And let's just really kind of drop in, become more present, more aware of our breath by taking three big, deep breaths together. So next time you inhale, just fill up as big as you can and feel your belly, your chest, your ribs, your entire torso fill up. And then open your mouth and just great big sigh. <sighs> Let it go. Do that two more times. So inhale, fill up. Feel everything expand, inflate. You take up more space. 
Yeah, and then whenever you're ready, sigh it out your mouth. One more time. Biggest inhale you've taken all day long. And take a moment to pause in fullness, maybe extra little sip. Open your mouth, release. Ah. Start to drop into your ujjayi breath now. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. And see if you can start to create that whisper noise with your breath, that oceanic sound. See if you can still feel your entire torso expanding and contracting with your breath. Slow, steady, but still powerful and strong. So keep this breath moving and flowing. And draw your knees in towards your belly and just take a little rock from side to side. And then eventually let your knees fall over to your right side. Reach your left arm out to the left. And as you allow yourself to just kind of melt into this twist, send your breath once again all the way down. So every inhale, your entire torso expands like a 3D globe. Every exhale, it contracts, hugs back in all the way to emptiness. Take just a couple more rounds. And then end of your next exhale, bring your knees back up through center. And take a moment to neutralize. So a little rock or maybe a big squeeze, just kind of neutralize your pelvis and your spine. And then as you are ready, other side, let your knees fall to the left side, right arm out to the right. Breathe all the way down into your belly. So as you rest in your twist, start to bring more awareness to your solar plexus chakra. So it's your third chakra. It goes root, sacral, solar plexus. It's right in your upper abdominal area. The color is yellow. Maybe you start to at least visualize a yellow ball of light like a sun in your upper abdominal area. It's hot. So as you breathe deeply, as you build heat, it's not ball, just firing up. As you're ready, come back to center. Neutralize your spine again. So a little rock or a big squeeze of your knees. And then after a few rocks side to side, invitation to rock forward and back. We're going to come all the way up to a seat. If you'd rather get there your own way, that's totally fine. So take a few rocks and find your core strength. Make these rocks as smooth as possible. Eventually rock up and just seated meditation. Any position that feels comfortable. Sit up tall. Let your hands for now just rest in your lap. Close your eyes. Visualize the length of your spine. So you can see it as your spine, as your vertebra. Or you can see it as just a bright light that moves down your middle. Imagine on this line of energy, there's all these little bundles of nerves, all these little energy centers. Right in your upper abdominal, there's your solar plexus, your power center. So this is the place that connects you to your power, to your purpose. This is the place that connects you to your decisiveness, your boldness. So it's, it has a masculine energy. So we're going to move into a breathwork practice. And as we move into this breathwork practice, really focus on heating up this area connecting to this space. So bring your hands to your shoulders, elbows face straight out to both sides. We're going to inhale to the left, exhale right. You can start whenever you want. So I'm just going to get going. Join me whenever you're ready. Inhale left, exhale right. Through mouth or nose or both, up to you. See that yellow light right at your center and see if you can make this twist come from your center, come from that place. So you're not moving through your arms or your shoulders or your head. You're moving from your power. Side to side with your breath, about 10 more. Five, four, three, two, 
One, big inhale, reach your arms up, clasp your fingers together, interlace, and point your steeple, your index. Hold, 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 hold. Get taller, squeeze, and exhale out your mouth. Ah. Good job. Come to hands and knees and come back to ujjayi breath as you move through some cat cows. So slowly and intentionally, mindfully, just flexion and extension through your spine with your breath. And see if you can really feel the movement here rather than just kind of plopping your low belly up and down. See if you can find more mobility through your mid back, mid spine. See if you can feel the connection of your spine to your pelvis. And then as you're ready, just come back to neutral. And we're gonna do about 50 pumps of breath of fire. So staying on hands and knees. You're familiar with breath of fire, right, Chris? Okay, so exhaling through mouth or nose, the inhale happens on its own. Take an inhale about halfway full. And here we go. So from the gut, from the belly, push, 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 push. If you can't quite get it, that's okay. Keep playing with it. About halfway there. You hear power center, solar plexus, that fire in your belly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your tailbone. Lift the crown of your head, your heart. And then big exhale through your mouth. Ah, round. Come back to neutral. And we'll take thread the needle. Knees at least hips width distance. Right arm out to the right. All the way up. Breathe in here. Exhale, thread it through. Ujjayi breath. About three to five rounds. And see if you can feel now into your solar plexus, but the back space. So in your back body. Breathe into that space and expand with each inhale. Contract again with your exhales. Take one more. If your left hand is lifted, yours is down. Bring it back to the ground. And then on an inhalation, unthread your right arm, reach it out and up. Exhale, right hand down. And downward facing dog for a moment. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Walk it out, stretch, lengthen. So feel your strong hands on the ground. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Feel a connection to your center. So really let your core do the work to lift you up out of your shoulders, out of your wrists. Thanks, Chris. Take one more big inhalation. And then as you exhale, just gently set your knees back on the ground, at least hips with distance apart, and we'll take thread the needle with our left arm. So left arm out, left arm up, inhale, and exhale, thread it through. Most likely you take the same variation you took on the other side, but if this side feels different, and explore that, honor that, get curious about that. Breathe into your back body a lot. Breathe into the back of your solar plexus. What does power feel like in your body? Just get curious. Last couple of rounds. Right hand on the ground if it happens to be lifted. And then on an inhalation, unthread your left arm, reach it out and up. Exhale, left hand down. And once again, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths or so, walk out your dog, or just stretch, feel around. One more big inhale into your dog pose. Exhale, gaze to the top of your mat however you'd like to get there, forward fold. Once you've arrived, halfway lift position, so lengthen out. Exhale, bow and fold. Root through your feet and take it all the way up, 
reach up and stretch tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, let's flow. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, slow dive. So hinge at your hips all the way down, fold in. Breathe in, halfway lift position, lots of length. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Take an inhale at the top of your push-up. Come to your knees if you want. And then strong core as you lower, exhale. Inhale, peel your heart open. Keep your shoulders back and down. Only lift as high as feels right to you. And then exhale back to your down dog. Let's take a great big inhale. Push the ground away. Lift your hips. Exhale, look to the top of your space, however you want to get there. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Breathe in. Exhale, release. All the way up. Rise. Arms to the sky. Inhale. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Let's take one more sun A just like that. Inhale. Arms reach. Let your breath guide you down slowly. Exhale. Halfway lift position as you breathe in. And then exhale. Plant your hands, feet back. See if you can keep that exhale going this time as you lower chaturanga. Peel your heart open. Inhale. Back bend of choice. Exhale, down dog. Big inhalation. Push the ground away. Exhale, look to the top of your space, however you want to get there. Forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Lift halfway. Exhale, let it go. And then all the way up. Rise. Arms to the sky. Breathe in. And exhale, chair pose, sit back. So weight in your heels. As you sit back, rather than looking down, see if you can keep your heart lifted. Nice, Chris. And then keep your connection to center. So navel to spine. Stay right here if you want. Or option, float up to your tiptoes. Bring your arms parallel to the ground. Squeeze your knees together. Tops of your thighs together and slowly lower down. This is called awkward chair. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lower, low as you can go. And then keep squeezing. Lift back up. Everybody, high mountain. All the way up, maybe on your tiptoes. Maybe on your tiptoes. Slow dive down. So stick your butt out. Balance challenge all the way down. Lift halfway, heels on the ground. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Move through your vinyasa. See you back in down dot. Nice job. All right, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. And then pause for just a moment. And if it would feel good, open your hip or roll out your ankle. Just feel around into your body. See if you can find your center here. Lift from your center. Take one more inhale. Right leg long, strong, and powerful. Exhale. Knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly and as soft as you can, step forward. Low lunge. Take a moment. Take your time. Crescent lunge. So as you rise, strong legs. Imagine you're pulling front hip back and you're drumming your back hip forward. So as you hug towards midline, automatically, as you create your strong legs, you feel a little tone in your lowest, deepest abdominals. So that's supporting your low back. Heart is lifted. Maybe your gaze is lifted. Maybe you're spreading your fingers or maybe your fingers are soft today. Maybe your elbows are bent today. So feel into your unique expression in your upper body. Breathe into it. Nice, Chris. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh. Lean forward. If it feels better, you can kind of scoot your back foot forward a little bit. And then eventually, we're going to balance. So draw navel to spine. Connect to center. And then float your back foot off the ground. Crown reaches forward like a halfway lift position in your upper body. And then your back foot is pressing onto an invisible wall behind you. Feel your strong core, navel to spine. Stay where you're at or option to add some arms. They might go out to both sides, maybe forward, maybe back. Yes, square hips, strong through your back foot. 
active through your toes. One more round. Nice work. Come back to crescent lunge, slowly and softly if possible. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Let's bring our hands to the inside of our right foot. Walk your right foot out nice and wide. For a moment, straighten your front leg. So just lift your right butt cheek up. Work that front leg straight. Maybe even give it a little jiggle, wiggle. And then bend your knee. Bring your back knee down. And let your hips move towards the ground as you lift your heart. Yeah. So I like to come up to my fingertips. You could also use block or blocks under your hands. Hips down, heart up. And if your knee wants to go in, then pivot your toes out and let your knee instead move out. About two or three more big deep breaths. Ah, side out your mouth. Nice job, Chris. All right, hands on the ground, lift your back knee up and then just work your right foot back, plank position. From your plank position, side plank. Roll onto the baby toe edge of your right foot, left arm to the sky. So lift your hips. If you wanna modify, you can bring right knee or right forearm down. Otherwise, hips as high as possible. Maybe reach your left arm forward. Maybe float your left leg up and see if your hips can go even higher. Yes, awesome. One more big, huge, deep breath. End of your exhale, plank or modified. Pause at the top, find your strength. Inhale. Exhale all the way to your belly. Start in a baby cobra. So lift using your back straight. And then with your hands, rather than pushing, pull back like you're trying to drag your body forward. Press down through your shoelaces. Try to spread your toes and press down through your toenails. Press down through your pelvis. Draw your belly button in and up. See if you can keep this exact same position, but float your hands up, reach your hands back. Don't let your feet lift. Feel your back strength. Bend your elbows and squeeze your elbows towards each other behind your back. Lift a little higher. One more inhale. Nice job. Exhale, release. Let's take a Spider-Man Cobra. Fingertips on the ground. Elbows face the sky. Lift just as high as feels right. Exhale, a little twist to your right. Left shoulder dips. Inhale through center. Doesn't have to be super high. Other side, it's like a micro shoulder pigeon. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Heart lifts. Exhale, release. Take it back. Downward facing dog, however you want to get there. Ujjayi. All right, inhale your left leg to the sky. And if you want to give yourself a moment to feel, open your hip, roll out your ankle, point and flex your foot. Nice, Chris. One more big in breath, push the ground away. And then exhale slowly and softly, use your strong core, step forward. And take your time, rise up to crescent eventually. So in crescent, rather than feeling like you're just sinking into your legs, that's not the point. We want to find stability, strong foundation. So hug in, build your strong foundation, feel your power, lift your heart, reach up. So come back to your solar plexus, visualize it, connect with it. Is there a way you can embody the energy of your solar plexus in this pose? Maybe, maybe not. Just get curious. It's just an exercise in curiosity. Beautiful. One more inhale. As you exhale, hands to your front thigh. Lean forward just a bit. Prepare for your balance. If it helps, move your back toes forward a bit. And then navel to spine connection. Float your back foot off the ground. Make sure your back leg is strong. It's supporting itself. Spine long. You can bend your standing leg as much as you need. Feel your power, your center. How can you embody your solar plexus energy here? Maybe add some arms. Feel all that space, all that link, all that aliveness. One more round. Awesome, Chris. And then let's come back. Land softly in crescent. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down. 
Bring your hands inside left foot. And for a moment, you can take your left foot out wide, straighten your left leg. And I like to just kind of like shake it out, wiggle it out a little bit. You can feel around to so give that left leg a nice straightening, nice stretch. And then we're gonna come into our lunge once again. So bend your left knee, left foot all the way out to the width of your mat, nice and wide, back knee down. If you need extra cushion, you can fold over the side of your mat. So you're working your back or your hips. So back knee is down, hips work their way down, heart lifts up. Like you're trying to create a cobra pose with your chest. You can pivot your left toes out. You can roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Try not to let your left knee fall in. Breathe down into your hips, your pelvis. Soft through your face, about three more. So see if you can find your power or connect with your power in a softer way here. Oh, soften around it, soften within it. Last big breath. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, work your left foot back, plank position. And from plank pose, side plank. Roll onto the baby toe edge of your left foot, right arm up. You could absolutely bring left knee or forearm down to make it your own. Lift your hips. So use your strong left side obliques. Yeah, maybe right arm forward. Maybe right leg floats up. Awesome, karate chop the ground with the outer edge of your left foot. One more big deep breath. Yes. End of your exhale, slowly plank or modify. Good job. Inhale at the top of your push up. Find your strength, push the ground away. And slowly lower all the way to your belly. Nice work. Start with your baby cobra again. And do all those little check-ins. Press through your toenails. Press through the tops of your feet. Press through your pelvis. Pull back with your hands. And then lift your hands. Reach them back. This time we're going to lift our feet. Lift them up. Hug in with your inner thighs. Feel your mid-back muscles. So it always helps me if I bend my elbows and then I try to squeeze them together. Feel the strength there. Keep hugging in with your inner thighs. If you want, you can interlace your fingers. Just an option. Two more breaths, active through your feet, spread your toes. Nice job. One more inhale, lift, 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 and let it go. Nice, Chris. All right, take a moment and just kind of rock your hips side to side. Maybe windshield wiper your shins a bit. And then however you want to make your way there, down dog and grab a child's pose on your way if you want. All right, great big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, gaze to the top of your space, step or hop, forward fold. Once you've arrived, spinal extension, lift halfway. Exhale, bow and fold. Root through your feet, rise all the way up, arms reach up. Listen, exhale, hands to your shoulders, fingertips to your shoulders. We're gonna go back into that breath. So left is inhale, right is exhale. Join me whenever you're ready. Stay rooted through your feet. Stay square through your hips. Make it come from your center. Visualize that yellow ball of light. Visualize your own power inside of you moving through. Connect with it. Feel it. About 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach up, interlace fingers, steeple index. Hold at the top of this inhale. Mula banda, pelvic lock, root lock. Seal it in, get taller, squeeze everything. Big open mouth sigh. Ah, kind of shake it out. Mountain pose, arms by your sides, palms open. Close your eyes as you stand and think of really standing like a mountain, feel into that. Root through your feet, draw up through the ground of your head, broaden through your shoulders, draw up through the crown of your head. 
Feel your breath. Visualize your solar plexus. Let it expand and contract with each breath you take. Take one more inhale, fill up as big as you can. And stay exactly as you are this time. Just sigh it out. Ah. Ujjayi. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slow dive. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa or skip it. See you back in down dog. All right, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, or as close as you can come. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right to right. Aim for your armpit as high as you can get on your arm. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, knee to your nose, step forward softly. This time, warrior two, back heel pivots down, cartwheel your arms up, settle in. So right toes face directly forward, left toes directly to the left. Try not to stick your butt out, but wrap your right butt cheek underneath you and feel your front knee track towards your pinky toe. Nice job. All right, from here, we're gonna move into side angle. So legs stay the same, reach forward, reach, 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 and then just tip it over, right hand towards the ground, left towards the sky. Heart stays open. You can absolutely rest your right elbow lightly on your right thigh. I like to bring my left bicep next to my ear and lengthen my left side. If the half or full bind is calling to you, you're welcome to go there. Take about two or three more rounds in side angle. Stay in your strong legs. Keep your back foot rooted. Keep your back thigh strong. And keep tracking your front knee towards your pinky toe. Last big deep breath. Inhale, come through warrior two. Reach up and back. Reverse, lengthen your right side. So keep that deep bend in your right knee. Breathe into your right waistline. One more inhale. Exhale back to your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, parallel your feet. Arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace. Roll your shoulders back and down. Maybe hands reach back, maybe heart lifts up. One more in breath. And then keep your clasp, hinge at your hips all the way down. So see if you can feel your core here. Without your hands on the ground, you have to use your core to work the pose. Squeeze through the front of your thighs. See if you can bring your weight just slightly forward as you lift your hips, your sit bones up really high. Let your head be heavy, let your neck relax. Nice, Chris. Two more rounds. Crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. All right. If you still got your clasp, bring your hands to your low back first, then release. Fingertips to the ground, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, back to low lunge. And then standing splits, left leg floats high. So think of it as just a one-legged forward fold. I do not care how high your left leg goes, but make it strong, powerful, active through your left toes. Nice job. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, Shiva squat. So left knee tucks to the back of your right knee. Both knees bend, get small. Inhale, standing splits, re-extend. Option to lift to your right tiptoes if you want. Exhale, Shiva squat. We've got three. Inhale, re-extend. Again, option to lift to tiptoes. Exhale, Shiva squat. Find your center. Feel your solar plexus firing inside. Inhale, re-extend last time. And then this time, we're going to set our left foot down next to right. Tiny little potato bug ball. Nice job. So heels can press towards the ground. That'll work ankle flexibility. Or heels can lift up high. As your heels lift higher, your nose can get closer to your knees. Your butt can get closer to the ground. Maybe even wrap your arms around your shins. Breathe into your back body. Breathe into the back of your solar plexus. Next time you inhale, heels on the ground, spine long, halfway lift. You can widen your stance if you want to. Exhale, fold and bow. 
root through your feet, take it all the way up, reach up and stretch. And start, exhale. All right, keep going, flow, reach, inhale. Dive slowly as you exhale, traction out your spine. Nice, Chris, lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa your way. See you back and down dog. All right, from your dog pose, big inhale, left leg high. Stay here and hold or exhale, left knee to your right elbow or as close as you can come. Inhale up, lengthen. Use your strong core, left to left, exhale. Inhale, re-extend. And then exhale, knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly, step forward softly. Warrior two, back heel pivots down. Cartwheel your arms up, settle in. So feel your shoulders stack right over your hips, your weight nice and center. Feel your back leg just as strong as your front leg. Root into your back foot. Imagine your back thigh muscles, they're squeezing around that big femur bone like an anaconda. Next time you inhale, stay in your legs, reach forward like you're trying to slide your rib cage forward. Reach, 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 then tip it over, side angle. Nice, Chris. So heart stays open, hips stay open, shoulders stay open. Keep your back leg strong, back thigh strong, back foot grounded. Wrap your left butt cheek underneath your body. Any variation you want to take, go for it. Feel your breath flowing into every space. Feel your power. Good. Stay in your legs. Reverse warrior. Rise up. Reach up. Reach back. So imagine you're trying to lift your left rib cage up away from your left hip. You're trying to puff up through the side of your left ribs. Deep bend in your left knee. Take one more huge inhale. Exhale, back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, parallel your feet. Arms to the sky, inhale. And then this time, just dive down anywhere you want to take it. Your wide-legged forward fold. So you're more than welcome to make this a little more restful and restorative. Or make it more challenging, more playful. Try, if nothing else, just to stay here. Stay on your mat, in your body. Feel sensation. Notice thoughts. Over and over again, come back. Nice, Chris. Take about two more. Side out your mouth anytime. Ah. Uh... All right, fingertips on the ground. Come to a halfway lift, breathe in. And then walk your toes forward, or excuse me, walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, standing splits. So left foot roots, right leg floats up, right foot active, try to spread your toes. Lots of length. Hug in with your left inner thigh, relax your neck, soften your face. One last inhale, reach, Shiva squat. Right knee tucks into the back of your left knee, right heel towards your right butt cheek. Get small. Inhale, re-extend, get long. You can even lift up to left tiptoes. Exhale, Shiva squat. Small and compact. To the back of your solar plexus area. Inhale, re-extend, lift to tiptoes if you want. Last time. Jiva squat. Inhale, re-extend. And this time, we'll move into our tiny little potato bug ball. So bring your right toe next to your left big toe and tug and curl. Stay in your potato bug ball if you would like to. Or little balance challenge, toe stand. Squeeze your inner knees, your inner thighs, your inner heels towards midline. Try to point your knee straight forward, thighs parallel to the ground, hands to heart. Slow, deep breaths. Even as you shake and wobble, feel back into your power. Find your center over and over. Two more rounds, wherever you're at. 
Next, inhalation, heels down, spine long, halfway lift. You can widen your stance if you want to. Exhale, bow. Root through your feet all the way up. Great big stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, inhale, reach. Let's take a side body stretch to our right. Grab your left wrist and then up and over. Gentle tug on your left wrist. I like to bring my right tiptoes out to the right. So most of the weight is in your left foot. Stay rooted into the inner edge of left foot. Keep your left shoulder back and down, plugged into the socket. As you tug with your right arm, resist with your left arm. Breathe into your left side. One more big deep breath. Back to center, inhale. Switch your grip, other side, up and over like a crescent moon shape. So root down into right, especially inner edge, and maybe left tiptoes out to the left. Right shoulder back and down. So bicep is next to your ear, not next to your cheek or in front of your face. Breathe into your right rib cage, right waistline. Stay connected to your center, your strong core. One last round. Back up, inhale. Just a baby back bend. Cactus your arms, squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Exhale, navel to spine, protect slow back. Inhale, re extend, realign. Stick your butt out, reach your heart forward all the way down. Big bend in your knees might really help. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Pause at the top of your push up. Knees can come down if you want to modify. Lower just to forearms, forearm plank. So elbows under shoulders, forearms either parallel or palms face down, or parallel with palms face down, fingers spread wide. Or you can modify by creating a tripod with your hands instead. Do not let your elbows drift apart. Press down through your forearms. And then start to walk your toes towards your elbows. Find your strong core. Imagine an invisible rope attached to your belly button pulling up. You can bend your knees. I'm way up on my tiptoes. Hug in with your upper arms. Press down through your forearms. If your forearms are parallel, especially press your thumbs and index. Awesome, Chris. Relax your neck. Imagine you're trying to press your heart towards the back wall. Take just two, maybe three more rounds. If you want to lift one leg and then the other, you want to play with hand, or excuse me, forearm stand hops, go for it. Stronger than your mind tells you you are. Use your power. Kneel into it. Breathe into it. Just one more. Open your mouth and sigh if you want. Knees down. Nice work. Sit back into child or embryo pose. So embryo is just bringing your hands back to grab heels, or you can let your palms face up. Backs of your hands rest down. Breathe into your low back. Breathe into the back of your solar plexus chakra. Just a couple more grounding breaths here. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, peel your hip open. So bend your knee, reach your knee out and up. Perfect place to stay. This might feel really nice. Stay here. Or option to flip, right foot comes down, right arm reaches forward, lift your hips, and see if you can even let your heart look forward. Feel the strength in your back body. Take one more big deep breath into your front body, front of your heart, front of your solar plexus, and bring it back, three-legged down dog. So re-extend your right leg, square off your hips if you want to. One more inhale. And then pigeon pose as you exhale, right shin to the top of your space, set your body down. Take a moment in your pigeon and see if you can find the stability, the strength, the power of the pose first. So with your right knee wider than your hip, you're doing a different variation, that's totally fine. I'll just talk to my zoomies. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward, and then see if you can lift your hands up off the ground, keeping your legs strong. And then as you keep your legs strong, don't let them change. 
slowly bow forward. So your variation, if there's a different variation you want to take, totally fine with me. You've got about five to seven deep breaths. Just notice whatever there is to notice. Allow sensation to flow through. So even in pigeon, find that connection to the strength, the structure, the power, the integrity of the pose first, then soften around it, soften within it. Take about three or four more. You can open your mouth at any time. Big exhales. Let's take one last huge breath. And then slowly start to lift back up. And we're going to come into a seat. So you might be able to just stay there for now or however you want to get there. Swing your left leg around. Both legs out in front of you. Give them a nice little shake out. And then after a few little shakes, a few windshield wipers. So feet nice and wide with your knees bent. Hands behind, side to side. Slowly, mindfully. And then let's come back to center. Extend your left leg forward and bring your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. Hug your knee in. You can keep your left leg extended, or if you'd rather, you can bring your heel towards your right butt cheek, bend your knee. So sit up nice and tall, hug your knee in, lift your heart up, reach your right arm to the sky. Get really tall, reach high, inhale, and then exhale, twist to your right. Right hand comes down behind you. Left hand can stay where it's at, or if you want, you can latch your left elbow to the outside of right knee, half or full bind if it's in your practice. Nice and tall through your spine, open through the front of your heart. Big deep breaths into your belly. Nice job. Okay, just two more. Very end of your next exhale, unwind your upper body, hands over to the left side or off the left edge of your mat. You can either round and kind of bow, or if it feels better, you can keep your spine long and just kind of twist the other direction. Maybe a little bit of both. And then slowly come back to center, uncross your legs. Again, you can give them a little shake out. If you want to find your own way back to down dog, fine with me. Otherwise, invitation to take boat pose for three breaths. So balance on your sit bones. Try not to rock back onto your tailbone. Lift your heart, hug in with inner thighs. You feel that big yellow light, that sunlight. Let it fire up at your center. Feel the connection to your power. Soften around it. Take one more round. End of your exhale, cross your ankles, rock forward, plant your hands. You can either step back or if a jump back is in your practice, go for it. Move through a vinyasa or skip it. See you back in down dog. Walk it out, connect to your breath. Inhale, left leg to the sky. 
open your hip. So bend your left knee and peel your hip open. Nice, Chris. Absolutely. You can stay here or option to flip it. Left foot comes down, left arm forward, hips lift. Feel the strength in your back body and use it to open more through your front. One last round. And then come back, three-legged down dog. So you can set your left foot down and re-extend if you need to. Inhale, left leg high. Pigeon pose, exhale, left hand forward. If you want to take your own variation, totally fine. Otherwise, regular pigeon. Find the strength and the structure. So as you pull left hip back, right hip forward, see if you can lift your hands off the ground and keep that structure. See if you can bow forward and keep that structure. Once you're bowing forward, if you want to take it deeper, all you have to do is scoot your back knee back the slightest bit. Whatever variation you are in, big deep breaths, about seven or eight rounds. Soften your face, unclench your jaw, your shoulders, your fingers, back of your heart, solar plexus, back of that area. How do you feel into your power, but still? Have that sense of softness. So just getting curious. Take about three, four more breaths. Good work. Last big exhale. You're welcome to take it out your mouth. And then start to ease your way up. Coming once again into a seat. So however you need to get there, nice and easy. Swing your right leg around. Give your legs a little shaky shake. And then windshield wiper a few times. After a few rounds, so as many times as you want to, windshield wiper it out, and then we'll set up our twist. So right leg extended, left foot to the outside of right thigh. If you want, you can bend your knee, bring your heel towards your butt. Hug your knee and get really tall. Puff up your chest, left arm up. See if you can reach up just a little higher, inhale, and then twist. Left hand comes down. Maybe gaze back over left shoulder, any position you want to take with your right arm so it can stay as it is. Left, or excuse me, right elbow to the outside of left knee. Half or full bind if you want to go there. And try not to put too much weight on your back hand, just use it to lift you up. Looks good. Breathe all the way down to your belly. Last couple of rounds here. Very bottom of your next exhale. Unwind slowly. Hands over to the right edge or off the right edge of your mat. And you choose that little bow round your spine or keep it nice and long. Kind of twist. Maybe a little bit of both. As you feel complete. Come back up, unwind, uncross your legs. And before we go down onto our backs, we're gonna take a reverse tabletop or a reverse plank. So reverse tabletop will be a little less intense. For reverse plank, legs are extended, legs zip together. For reverse tabletop, feet on the ground, knees bent. 
about hips width distance apart. Both poses, hands behind you, fingers face towards your heels. Roll your shoulders back and down. Press especially into thumbs and index fingers. As you're ready, press down to lift your hips up. As you lift, don't let your shoulders roll forward. Keep them back and down. Imagine you're lifting your solar plexus up towards the sky, letting it shine. Hug in with your inner thighs. Press down through your heels. Both variations. Press down through your heels. One more big inhale. Lift, lift, lift. And then release. Let it go all the way down onto your back. Nice and easy. Once you're there, full body stretch. So arms long, legs long. And actively reach with your fingers and toes or your fingers and heels. As you actively reach, notice if your front ribs lift a lot. Try to press your back ribs down. Press the back of your solar plexus down. Keep reaching. Take one more inhale. Exhale, hug your knees in. Gently rock from side to side. Happy baby pose. And for a moment, embody a happy baby. Just play. And you stay connected to your solar plexus, that sense of your power, even as you're playful, even as you're silly. If you want to extend your legs, maybe you want to bring your feet together. And then after a few breaths in happy baby, choose any inversion for about five to 10 rounds. Anything that puts hips and or legs higher than heart. And that can be something more restorative or something more challenging. Totally up to you. And then as you come out of your inversion, whenever you're ready, just take any counter poses or any finishing poses of your choice. So anything at all that will complete your practice for you. If you want one more twist, a supine twist, you're welcome to take it. If you want one more heart opener, hip opener, maybe you just want to roll out your wrists and your ankles. so please no rush whatsoever but as you feel complete with your practice just start finding your way into your final relaxation so that can be the traditional corpse pose legs extended arms out by your sides or maybe you want to take constructive rest pose, feet on the ground, nice and wide with your knees falling in. Invitation, if you'd like, to bring your hands to rest over your solar plexus area, so your upper abdominal area. As you let your breath become effortless, as you let your body just give in. Stay connected to this yellow light inside of you your solar plexus chakra. Stay connected to the energy that it holds. And as you rest in your Shavasana, I will read some affirmations. They're just solar plexus affirmations. So take them in, feel them in your body. And if something doesn't resonate, just let it go. I am strong, powerful, and confident. I can achieve anything I set my mind to. I wholeheartedly believe in myself. I welcome new experiences.
I am competent, capable, and strong. I am aligned with my purpose. I am my most authentic self. I am enough just as I am. I have the courage and confidence to accept my dreams as reality. My soul is radiant, my body is strong, and my mind is brilliant. I love and accept myself for exactly the person I am right now. So really just let those soak it. If you visualize yellow stardust just flowing around inside of you. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Start to wiggle through fingers and toes. And eventually find your way onto either side, fetal position. And as you rest on your side body in this nurturing pose, curled into yourself just one more time. Visualize in some way that makes sense to you, just using your imagination. Visualize all the energy of your practice soaking in, seeping in, becoming a part of you. Visualize all that power inside of you seeping in. And slowly ease your way up into seated meditation. 
Hands to heart center, eyes closed. And just bow your head to your own heart in acknowledgement and gratitude. Thank yourself for taking time out of your day to do your practice, to connect back to yourself in a deeper and intentional way. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. All right, Chris, we did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you, Zoomies. I know I went a little over. Yay, Trish, I'm so happy that you joined. Thanks, Noel. Thanks, Katie. Let's see what somebody said. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. See Thanks you next so much, week, Katie. Noel. Bye. Sorry, Trishy, I can't hear you, but I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs>